Bring it on, bring it on. Well, welcome to present day worship on Ask Television. The topic for discussion today is what worship is and what worship is not. I know you have your own opinions, your own beliefs, but um, just stick around, tune in as we take you through the nitty gritties of what worship is and what worship is not. With me in the studio is Reverend Eugene E.J. Donko, a renowned minister of God who is well versed in matters such as these. We take a commercial break. Stay tuned. Media Mr. Keke for media education. Addis Mama Wamakaba, a higher Ax Media Practical Institute. Paul Amant so na a senior decan for when you sukua yet to a kunini near Benefo about the practical aspect of journalism. Ghana TV station, radio station, be no ask media anymore. And I'm saying about practical aspect of journalism. I am number one. I mean, you are the state of the art equipment. I am about wow. Now, you person your radio presenting, TV presenting, camera and editing, master control room, MCR, no over ask media practical institute. You are the best Yes, yeah, yeah. Ask media, be sake ke. You are the best man. The obusu mi ansa, the obusu mi siya, and so so adi oho. Obusu mi ansa, but my radio, obusu mi siya wa TV. The officer will be a bit me, a year, a half. Young certificate be a way of practical training at the mouth, or a year, a hammer. Who pass me the other way over here? And cry what you mutter. ABC Johnson, you opposite. And as I would do, Malcolm, new Malcolm now. Oh, fair, numbers in the above the foul at the work of home. Your hostel won't cry. Oh, Nantin Walker, your hostel will come, I say. Your tones are flow. Oh, but not if you know, only problem. Manamia, Nian Chiron, Ask Media, the CB Sakake, Naya de Bema, Medamasi. Ask Media, Bissakake, for media education. No one will forgive you, Bissakake, Naya de Bema. If you hear me, the rain, no, Ask Media, Bissakake. You are welcome back from the short commercial break. This program is brought to you by Ask Television. My name is Pastor James Tete Ujija. And as I said earlier, with me here is Reverend Eugene E.J. Donko. Stay tuned as we discuss the topic on the table. You are welcome, Reverend Eugene E.J. Donko. Thank you, man of God. Uh, thank you so much for honoring my invitation. Bless God. Mm. Right. Uh, without wasting much time, the topic for discussion today is what worship is and what worship is not. I would like to ask, where exactly did worship originate from? Thank you so much. Um, worship originated from, from scriptures. Worship originated from the Garden of Eden. The Word of God says that in the cool of the day, God will come and have fellowship with man. So the first point of worship in scripture is in the Garden of Eden. So that is where, in short, that's where worship originated from. Right. So when we talk of worship, what actually is worship? Worship, um, in the secular context, worship simply means to hold something in high esteem. Okay. And then in the biblical, in the Hebrew context, Worship comes from the Greek word shada or shaha, okay. and it has to do with to depress, mm -hmm. to fall down, to lie prostrate. Mm -hmm. So worship is is very deeper than what we think worship is. Mm -hmm. So in short, worship has to do with holding someone in high esteem. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So, does it mean that if someone doesn't lie prostrate like you said, it means that uh, the person ceases to be recognized as someone who is worshipping? Worship has a spiritual context. Okay. And a natural context. In the Old Testament, we have worship to mean people bowing down, lying prostrate, and all that. But in the New Testament dispensation, it goes beyond that. Mm. The New Testament worship goes beyond just lying down or bowing down. The New Testament dispensation of worship is very spiritual. 
Okay. Yes. It okay. goes beyond just bowing down or lying posture. So, talking about the New Testament dispensation of worship being spiritual, take us through the spiritual aspect of worship. If you read John chapter 4, Jesus with the Samaritan woman, John mm. chapter 4, mm. I would like to read the yeah, verse. Okay. Go ahead. Some few verses. John chapter 4. And I'll read from the verse 20. Okay. John chapter 4, verse 20. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain. Okay. And you Jews say that in Jerusalem is a place where one must worship. worship. Okay. Verse 21. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. Verse 22. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Verse 23. Okay. But the hour is coming, and now is when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. Worship him. And the verse 24, that's a common scripture most people mm. know. God is spirit, spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit mm. and, and in truth. Okay. So, as I said earlier on, worship goes beyond just bowing down, mm. lying prostrate. In the New Testament dispensation, Jesus is saying that God is spirit, and those who worship God must worship God in spirit and in truth. So, if you are not connected spiritually or you are, your worship is not connected spiritually, you are not worshipping God. Okay. And the word of God says that you must worship God in spirit and in truth. Mm. So, the first of all, in spirit has to do with first of all you must be born again exactly when you are talking about worship the focus is god the focus is god and the word of god said that god is a spirit before you can communicate to a spirit being then you must first of all your communication must be in the spirit mm -hmm. and the word of god also emphasized that you must worship god in spirit and in truth the truth has to do with the word of god if you don't have the word of God in you, you can worship God. Yes. All right. So, worship. Reverend, does it uh, does uh, the the fact that someone is not worshiping God in spirit and in truth make that worship a bad one? There are bad worships. Okay. Yes. There are bad worship. What makes worship a bad one? Mm. You know, we have bad worship and we have good worship. Mm. Now, in the book of, in the, in, in the Garden of Eden, the word of God says that when God created everything, he said it was good. Each day, God will say this is good. Mm -hmm. So, for someone to determine whether worship is good or bad has to do with God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, when your worship pleases God, then we can say your worship is good. Great. Because worship goes beyond the physical the natural mm. worship is spiritual mm. when you are worshiping god first of all the first point of contact is your physical being then it goes through your spirit your heart mm. your mind everything about you everything mm. about you so it is god who is the ultimate final sayer to determine whether your worship is good or bad mm. worship first of all must go through your heart mm. must go through your heart if you are looking at me right now if you are watching me right now you may not know what is in my heart mm. there are a lot of people who stand on the pulpit or on stage and we, we you will see them singing jumping and mm -hmm. you'll be excited but before god that worship is not accepted mm. so we have bad worship and we have good worship and it is god who can tell this is a good worship or a bad worship but right. we human beings there are some few things you can also see and you know that this one is mm. okay. this one is a bad worship. okay god bless you sir uh it's singing 
part of worship. Because the main mention of people jumping, singing here and there, claiming their worship, I mean, they are worshiping, but uh, maybe in the sight of God, it's not pleasant. I would like to know if singing is part of worship. Singing is part of worship. Okay. But singing itself, you cannot call singing itself worship. Mm -hmm. Worship goes beyond just singing. Okay. Somebody can just sit down quiet like this, but the person is worshiping God. Great. Yes. Mm -hmm. So singing is part of worship. Mm -hmm. But singing in itself is not worship. It's part of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So when you see someone um, sitting down quietly, and then as you uh, submitted, that the person might be worshiping God. How will you know, or how, how will you feel that this person sitting down is worshiping God? You know, this sends me to Hannah. Okay. When Hannah was in the temple, mm. Hannah was doing her own thing, mm. but the priest could not actually tell what she was doing. Mm. You know, we as humans, we can interpret something best when we understand what is going on. Mm. So somebody may sit down, and for all you know, the person might might be thinking about something else, okay. not actually worshiping. Okay. Uh huh. So when you see somebody sitting down, it does not mean the person is worshiping. Mm. Someone can worship, can be in the mood of meditation. Meditation okay. also comes to be part of worship. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So the person may be sitting down meditating, but the person is worshiping God. So what the person does. Or what, what goes through the person's heart, heart determines whether the person is worshipping while sitting down quietly yes. or not. Okay. Because God sees our hearts. God sees mm. from the inside of us. Mm. But man sees from the outside. Mm. Okay. Uh, so you may see, that is why even the priest said that, why is it that early this morning you are drunk? Mm. Because he is looking at the woman from the physical perspective. Okay. From how the, the, I mean, the woman was yes. behaving. From how the mm. woman was behaving mm. but heaven understands what the woman was, was doing, doing yeah. until she herself explained mm. what was happening okay yes okay so reverend are there types of worship there are types of worship no. can you um, can you take us through there are types of mm. worship okay um there are some when we look at the old testament there are some specific words mm. that have been grouped mm. and they form the types of worship let me quickly go through okay a uh, few of them mm. we see words like okay so the first kind of worship i want to talk about is worship as homage okay worship as homage or great submission to god okay in the old testament you will read a lot of scriptures which which talks about and bowed down mm. and bowed down all these are forms of worship. Mm. Okay, let me read one scripture to buttress this point. Okay. Genesis chapter Down. 18, verse 2. Mm. Genesis chapter 18, verse 2. So he lifted his eyes and looked, and behold, three men were standing by him. And when he saw them, he ran from the tent door to meet them and bowed himself to the ground. Okay. So paying homage. Pay homage is a form of worship. Okay. And then the next thing I want to talk about is worship as service to others. Okay. Now, when you read the book of Exodus, you see God or you hear God say, let my people go mm. that they may serve me. Yeah. It is a yeah. form of worship. Mm. So when you are reading the scriptures and you come across service mm. or save, it is a form of, of worship. worship. Right. Yes. Right. God bless you so much. Um, I would like to remind you that this program or this show was brought to you by Ask Media Practical Institute. They are the leading media house when it comes to actualizing your dream as a renowned journalist. Uh, they deal in video editing, radio presentation, and even acting. If you want to become one of the best actors or actresses in the world, look no further than Ax Media Practical Institute. You can locate them at uh, Kumasi 
eh ahoju isha so and then in accra achimota abc junction they are in the same story building with garura bank we take a short commercial break we'll be right back Bring it on, bring it on. You, you, you. you are welcome back from the break. Um, your your myths, your opinions, your belief system, I can see that is now changing from the previous one that you had before. That worship can only be when you lie down or worship can only be when you are singing. But now, by the grace of God, Reverend is taking us through the types of worship and then the ways of worship. And then also making us know that worship becomes pleasant in the eyes of God when you are born again. Reverend, yeah. I would like us to talk about the qualities of a good worship the qualities mm. of a good worship i love this one the qualities of a good worship okay so worship becomes pleasant to god mm. especially when you put some few things in place now before you decide to go and worship you have to first of all worship is intentional mm -hmm. worship is intentional so if you decide to worship you must be intentional about how you go about it okay so first of all worship goes beyond just the human realm mm. so you have to prepare both physically and spiritually that's right so for worship to be pleasant and be good in the sight of god and in the sight of man first of all you must prepare you cannot be an unbeliever and worship god first of all as i said earlier on you must be born again mm. and the moment you become born again the spirit of god that will enable your worship to be accepted mm. john chapter 1 verse 12 as many as received him to them he gave them the power to the spirit the to god. become children of god mm. So, the moment you, become, you are born again, you receive the power of God, the Spirit of God. And so, now what Jesus was teaching in John chapter 4, you can now worship the Father in spirit mm -hmm. and in truth. Okay. So, first of all, when we are, as you are talking about qualities of a good worship, first of all, you must be born again. Mm -hmm. And then two, you must prepare. Okay. You must invest prayer. Mm -hmm. Because what you are going to do is spiritual. Mm -hmm. You must invest prayer and the word of god you must be versed in the word of oh, god yeah because through worship you are preaching mm. through worship you are making god known all right so for worship to be very qualitative mm. you must prepare mm. you must have the word of god and you must invest prayer all right. So these are qualities of a good worship. God bless you, Reverend Eugene A.J. Donko. Uh, is there any posture? Is there any posture to show that um, so so and so is worshiping God as he or she stands, as he or she lies down, as he or she sits down? Is there any uh, acceptable posture that without that posture? Your worship will not be acceptable. In the New Testament dispensation, there is not post, uh, a particular uh, posture. Mm, okay. Yes. So, when you are worshiping God, you can just be led to lie down, okay. to bow down, okay. to lift up your hand. Okay. Jesus taught us something in the book of John chapter 4. Mm. Jesus was teaching the Samaritan woman and said, the time has come and the time is now. Mm. You will no longer worship on any mountain or at Jerusalem. But we will now worship in the spirit. Mm. So, for us to actualize the word of God, you know, when you are in the spirit, let me just use this word. When you are in the spirit, most times you lose control by yourself. Mm. So, you go to certain gatherings and during worship time, you see somebody just lose control over himself or herself you see people falling then you see some of the ushers holding them so 
worship when your worship becomes intense and when you are well connected to God and you can feel the presence of God it attracts a lot of postures mm. so you, okay. you can lie down you can lift up your hand you will see people crying and all that mm. yes so there is no particular posture for worship when you are in the spirit okay the spirit can move you in any other way okay so um what do you mean to say is that the spirit will determine which posture you should um uh, employ in your worship uh, towards god you know, the way you feel will tell you whether to lift up your hands or to lie down or to sit down depending on how you feel how you are carried by the spirit of god you know in the book of let me answer this with first mm -hmm. samuel chapter 19. okay the bible speaks of Saul sent soldiers to go and bring David. But the Bible said that when they got there, the Spirit of God came upon them. Okay. Normal soldiers, so the Spirit of God came upon them. They forgot their mission and they started prophesying. Mm, okay. Soldiers started prophesying. And Saul was informed and he sent the second group of soldiers. They also got there, they started prophesying. He sent the third group of soldiers. They got there, mm. they also started prophesying. Okay. And now Saul decided to go by himself. Mm. But the word of God said that for him, he did not even get to the garden, some distance far away. And the Spirit of God came upon him and he started prophesying mm. to the extent that he stripped himself naked. Mm. So when the Spirit of God comes upon you, 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 you will not even know what is happening. Okay. Yes. Okay. So the Spirit of God will take control will right. take charge over your okay. being your actions and everything okay beloved if you just tuned in this yeah. is present day worship on ask television reverend i would like us to um know the importance of worship is, worship. It, worship, is it important to worship god at all worship is very very important very 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 important mm. as a matter of fact God created us in his image and his likeness. The reason why God created you and I is for us to worship him. Okay. In the Garden of Eden, everything that God created was actually worshiping God. Okay. So in scriptures, you will come across phrases like, and the trees are clapping their hands. Okay. The trees are clapping their hands. So, what actually is happening is that they are praising God. So, Jesus even made a statement that if you seize these ones from praising me, I will give order to stones. Mm -hmm. The stones will praise me. Exactly. So, what I'm trying to say is that all that God created has a way of praising God, has a way of worshipping God. Mm -hmm. Has a way of praising God, has a way of worshipping God. All right. So, when someone gives bad worship, are there some punishments? Is there any punishment for bad worship? There are punishments. Okay. Can you take us through? There are punishments. Let me add these two before I come hmm. to the punishment. Hmm. Importance of worship. When you worship God, as a matter of fact, some people think that when they worship God, they are worshiping God for God. But what you don't know is that you are worshiping God for yourself. Hmm yes when you worship god and you are connected in the spirit okay a lot of things happens mm -hmm. a lot of things when you are worshiping god and your worship becomes acceptable before god mm -hmm. you feel the presence of god around you you go okay. to certain gatherings and you could feel the presence of god mm -hmm. you can feel the presence of god and that is where you see people lose control about themselves mm -hmm when you go to a place where the presence of god is mm. you will feel it yeah. if you are a spiritual person you will feel it you will discern it mm. so worship is very important okay worship through worship some people can be healed mm. through worship some people can be delivered mm. so these are some of the importance through worship you can get a lot of things mm. worship is very very important right. and if one refuses to worship or one goes through a bad worship mm. then what will happen is that the first point of call is that you will lose what god has prepared for you through the worship atmosphere okay 
and the word of god said that wherever the presence of the lord is there is liberty in the book of first corinthians mm. the word of god said now the lord is a spirit All right and wherever the spirit of the lord is there is liberty mm. so we saw from john chapter 4 god is spirit and if you must worship god you must worship god in spirit so if you are worshiping god in spirit automatically you have god around you all right you have the presence of god around you all right god. and the bible says that wherever the spirit of the lord is there is liberty so if you are sick if you are afflicted if you are in bondage and you find yourself in a very spiritual atmosphere of worship then you can testify you can be liberated you can be set free so if your worship is not attracting the presence of god then what you are losing is that you are losing the ability and the opportunity to be healed okay and also when your worship is bad you should be aware that the presence of god is not it's there not there and the bible yeah. says that the presence in the presence of god there is fullness of joy yeah. mm. there is fullness of joy Good. and Thank psalm 96 you. the word of god also speaks about the fact that worship the lord in the beauty of his holiness so when you are worshiping the lord in the beauty of his holiness what happens is that god in the atmosphere of worship god begins to beautify everything around you mm, mm, mm. so when your worship is bad you are losing something very beautiful all right, all right. and you also allow the enemy to come through because the presence of god is not there. the presence of god will protect you mm. the presence of god will shield you and deliver you so worship is very important mm. when you don't worship god or your worship is bad you are losing the lord all right reverend we yeah for the next three seconds can you give us your last words my last mm. words worship is a choice mm. and so if you would have to worship then you have to do it very well great worship goes beyond the natural it connects from the natural into the spirit so if you are watching us you are listening to us and you just take worship just like that worship goes beyond the natural mm, okay your, your your heart your mind your soul your spirit your body everything must be involved but there are sometimes we we go before god and whilst it's, it's worship time sometimes we are on social media sometimes we are chatting sometimes we are doing this and these are things that negates our worship and makes causes us to lose a lot of things when it comes to worship so i would just encourage you that is either you do it and do it well or you don't do it at all good god bless you so much there reverend minister you just listened to you just heard is reverend eugene aj donko the founder and leader of Reveg prayer network this program has been what worship is and what worship is not i believe strongly that you have learned a lot from this show in his last words he said worship is a choice so you must not be coerced before you worship because worship in itself is much more important to you the one watching me this is how time will permit us don't forget that this is by ketsi as media practical institute you can locate them at uh, kumasi ahoju and then in accra uh, abc uh, achimota abc junction you can locate them through the contacts on your screens I've been your host, Reverend James Tete Ojija. See you same time next week. Present day worship, radiating God's glory. Bye bye. Ask Media, for media education. Addis Mama Wamakaba, I hire Ask Media Practical Institute. Paul Amant Emsona, I have seen a decamp for. When you sukua, yet to a kunini near Benefo, about the practical aspect of journalism. Ghana TV station, radio station, be no ask me the anyhow. And I'm saying about practical aspect of journalism, I am number one. I mean, you are the state of the art equipment. I am about wow, now, who person your radio presenting, TV presenting, camera and editing, master control room, MCR, no, over. 
Ask media practical to the Ebebam. Yes, yeah, yeah, ask media be sakake, yeah, the Bemam. The Obusumi and Say Obusumi is here, and so so idea of Hokusumi and Sabet my radio Obusumi is here, TV. The officer will be our betting, I hear Ewaha, young certificate to be a way of practical training at Ebema or Yasuya Ahanum. Who pass me the other way over here? And cry watch Mota, ABC Johnson, who opposite, and also will do Malcolm, new Malcolm now, Ophaya. Numbers in the above the foul at the Wako home. Your hostel won't cry. On Anton Wako, your hostel will come. I say, Your tones are for Obama or Tiffin, only problem. Manama, me and children, ask me there, the sip is a cake, now you're the Bama, Madame Massy. Ask me there, Miss Akake, for media education. No one will forgive you, Miss Akake, if you will be the rain, no, ask me there, Miss Akake.